Reflect triangle A in the x-axis and label your answer B. Then rotate your triangle B by 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Label your final answer C. So this is a question about reflections and transformations and rotations. Um, don't get hung up about it. It's, it's fairly simple and there are two parts to this question. Firstly, let's, uh, let's form triangle B, which is formed by reflecting triangle A in the x-axis. So the, this is our x-axis here. So it's the same as putting a mirror along there. And what do we see? So let's draw in the point. So we've got that corner there. And we've got that corner there. So we've gone, it's one, two up. So we've got to go negative one, two there. This is plus six, that point. So we've got to go minus six here now. So we've got that. Drawing in our lines. We've got that, and it says basically to label it answer B. So there we've got the first part. Then it says, then rotate your triangle B by 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. By origin, we mean zero, zero. And by clockwise, we mean the same way as, uh, as a clock, the hands on a clock go, so this way. So we need to rotate this 90 degrees this way. So just imagine this moving around, almost imagine that's the, uh, the point, of your, point of, your, uh, of your clock. So to move this 90 degrees around the origin, first of all, let's take this point here. Well, this is going to go, that's one, two away from the sides there, so that needs to move two away. Now that whole line rotates through 90 degrees, so if that line itself was rotating through 90 degrees, then that's one, two, three, four, so it's four from this point, one, two, three, four. So let's mark that there. Now this line rotates through 90 degrees as well. So it goes down this way. But remember, we we're rotating it about there. So we need to go down. That's one, two, three, four, six. Okay, from that point. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six from that point. Drawing in our lines. Got that. And labeling it C. And that's your answer.